Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and if you're like me, you spend most of your time at a computer. And so much of that time at the computer is spent inside Premiere Pro. And something happened to me recently. As I was creating the most previous tutorial, all of my settings were accidentally reset to default, which made me realize there is a lot of really small but important features that I take for granted on a daily basis. So we're gonna go over my pick of three little features that make a big difference in Premiere Pro. So let's start it out with number one, timeline smooth scroll. By default, your timeline will likely work by bringing the playhead from left to right across your media. And when it reaches the end of the screen, it's gonna- Wait, what? Where did- Where did- Where did it go? No, I- No, no, it's still playing, but like I can't- I can't see the playhead. Where is it? It just blazes right by, and you have to play catch up if you want to actually see your videos playing in context. Or you might have it set so that the timeline jumps forward when it reaches the end. This is better in my opinion, but it's still super disorienting. So here's the solution. Go to Edit, Preferences, Timeline, and then where it says Timeline Playback Auto Scrolling, set it to Smooth Scroll. Once you do, your playhead will more or less stay inside the center of your timeline window and the whole timeline itself shifts as your project progresses, giving you a heads up as to what's coming next in sequence. It's so much better. Number two, no audio when scrubbing. Keeping in line with making your editing experience feel better is audio scrubbing. What is audio scrubbing? I don't know a single person who actually enjoys that sound. Maybe it doesn't seem so bad, and you think, well, it's not the greatest sound, but it's not that bad, right? Try six straight hours of just this. It doesn't take long for me to start to feel like the life is being drained from my soul. To be fair, there might be an editing situation where this could maybe come in handy. To each their own, but if you're like me, thankfully there's a simple solution. Go to Edit, Preferences, Audio, and make sure that you uncheck play audio while scrubbing. Now all you hear while you're editing is sweet, sweet, peaceful silence. Ah. Number three, workspaces. When it comes to video editing, it's really, really easy to get frustrated. Remember how frustrated I was with audio scrubbing? Maybe it's just me, but to be honest, I find so much that how frustration free of a time I'm having while video editing correlates directly to how effectively I'm able to sit and edit for hours with a high degree of productivity. And when it comes to little annoyances, the workspace layout is culprit number one. Premiere has all of these different workspace layouts at the top here, and also under window, to be able to choose from. Each of these are good for a certain part of the editing process, but that doesn't mean that they're all perfect for you. Whether it's a bunch of tabs in the bars that you have to scroll through that you'll never use, or if you have a three monitor command station that you wanna take advantage of, being able to customize your workspace so that it works for you is essential. So you can actually ditch the given workspaces and make your own. Mess around with the workspace and get it to the place where you like it and feel comfortable working with it. For me personally, having a large space available for just the timeline itself is a huge priority. Then once you've got things laid out the way you want to, you can actually save your workspace by going to window, Workspace, save as a new workspace. And then you can name it whatever you want. Then when you next open up Premiere Pro, your favorite workspace setup is either set to default or just a single click away. And guys, that's been three little features that make a big difference in Premiere Pro. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, as always, we've got tons of other tutorials here at motionarray.com. And for those of you here on YouTube, we're giving you 20% off your first month subscription at Motion Array if you use the link in the description below. Make sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.